Welcome to Kinnick Stadium here in Iowa City. It's ESPN College Football presented by Five Hour Energy. Minnesota coming in at 4-0 and oh, and Iowa at 2-2. Two and two. Jerry kills Gophers. They've already got more wins than they had all of last season. Today facing their biggest challenge to date. And as Jerry likes to say, they're bringing the hard hat and the lunch pail and going to work against Iowa and Kirk Ferentz, the dean of the Big Ten coaches, now in his 200th career game today on the sideline. His Hawkeyes feeling some heat after the flame out at home to Central Michigan last Saturday and a chance for a new start here. It's a Legends Division meeting opening up the Big Ten season for Iowa and Minnesota. Iowa winning the toss and electing to receive. Jordan Wettstein got to keep it a, a kick it off. Greg Garman, one of the deep guys, along with Jordan Cotton. And Cotton, halfway into his end zone, he'll take him in. The defense, their numbers are amongst the best in the country, uh, but this certainly the stiffest test that they have seen thus far out to the 4-0 start. And Vandenberg will hand it off to one of the big surprises yeah, early on in the Big Ten. Second string fullback, but the running back issues that Iowa's had for several years continuing with them as Fedorowicz is wide open deep down the middle to the Minnesota. And they did right there. Weissman now the deep back in the eye. Rogers is the fullback. Weissman right up the middle. To the 26-yard line. Davis, the right out to the near side. Wiseman going to run it and stuff behind the line of scrimmage. Studemeyer coming around. Won't be picking up a scholarship until the next semester. Four wise with Vandenberg out of the gun. Looking underneath. Incomplete intended for Davis. A four-yard attempt. And Myers boot is true in the first possession for the Hawkeyes. They get Marcus Jones, Troy Studemeyer, the deep guys. And the one hopper, Studemeyer inside his 10. Trouble for Minnesota. And Studemeyer taken down at the seven yard line. Getting the start, just his second career start on the road. And Shortell will give it to Dial Kirkwood. Across the 10 to the 12 yard in the most of the opportunity. And we're going to try Kirkwood again off the right side to the 14 yard line. And across the middle on the catch out to the 32 yard line for the first down this week. Cautious optimism out of Minneapolis with the 4 0 start. And the big test today, and play action, and going deep for Barker, and he's got it at the 25-yard line, and now we're going to say he couldn't hang out. Court first, this will be a huge play if they can pull this off. Talk about Miller's ability to play through the receiver's hands. Don't look back, don't panic, don't do anything, just play through the receiver's hands. Let's take another look. I think the question might come down to if he's got possession of the ball because certainly the feet and as you mentioned the uh, the buttocks in play and he certainly looks to have hold of it he's the field judge Ed. after further review the defender did catch the ball inbounds it is an interception first and ten Iowa 20 yard line so after two and a half minutes, they reverse the call, and it will be Iowa football with the Miller takeaway. James Vandenberg back under center. Weissman running left. Weissman, not an easy guy to take down. Back since the end of last season, due to a variety of reasons, dismissals, transfers, injuries, to the air. Monte Martin Manley's got the first down out across. If they have that kind of room. See if that changes, Joey, because the uh, Iowa receivers have yet to show the speed that some of their predecessors have had over the years. 
Wiseman, a gaping hole, and he's out close to midfield. Well, the reports from State College, a bit of a chill in the air amongst the uh, coaching staffs in, in that matchup. Weissman right up the middle and right in to Keenan Stark today for his father. Play action. And the flat overthrows Cotton. Davis to the near side is the guy they think could have a breakout season. Vandenberg looking the other way instead and overthrows Martin Manley. Offensive coordinator Greg Davis, who has come over from Texas, and the success that he had with the Longhorn offense and winning the national championship with Vince Young. End over end, Barker will let it bounce. Gophers will stay away. They'll try to push one of the guys into it, and they picked up by Kirksey into the end zone. The ruling on the field is the ball did not touch the kicking team. Therefore, it would be Minnesota first and ten. Indisputable video evidence because they would have to overturn the ruling on the field. And that hits Travis's foot. Here comes the call down on the field. After further review, the ruling on the field was the player was forced into the ball. By rule that forced touching, it'll be Minnesota ball, first and 10. The forced touching means you have to ignore the player getting pushed into the ball. It will stay with Minnesota. And Kirkwood to the 20. Thank you very much, Dave. Flotel going airborne. Incomplete looking down the near side. Flotel stepping up. Incomplete intended for Barker and right there to break it up with. I'm going to fail catch it. And Iowa will have a gorgeous day here in Iowa City and keeping it on the ground. The they, they're one of the undefeated teams in the Big Ten that we're talking about to see if they are for real. Big test today here at Iowa. Minneapolis is there some cautious optimism right now and a lot of eyes on this game as sort of the uh, the determining factor about where they stand midway through the season. They were all over. This another step in the process of rebuilding this proud Minnesota program. Barker with the fair catch at the 21-yard line. We would love to talk about discipline, no off-the-field problems, Beth, and as this play continues, they want to make sure that they keep the coaches there. They don't want to have that revolving door going on. Beth uh, the continued growth of his young team. May. Looking for the edge, he gets out across the 30 to the... They've been following Jerry every step of the way. And bringing that continuity with them. Shortell, looking deep down the middle. And an incomplete overthrowing Devin Croft. LV, UNH, Western Michigan, and then last week, Syracuse. And on second down, it's KJ May to the 30. Third and five. Shortell going to keep, and he gets to the 41. Ball well and runs very well. A little different way of attacking things today for Minnesota. And Micah Hyde going to take it off the hop. And wrapped up and thrown down at the 15-yard line, 2-2 two and 4-0. Two and, and, oh. and not nearly as much talk about the coach being under fire. And this guy right here, Vandenberg, trying to get on track. He finds... Weissman to the 20-yard line. Davis to the top, Martin Manley to the bottom. And movement from that. Can communicate and tell you what he saw, and then you can get on the same page. Second and 11, Weissman. Oh, another nice block up front by Tobin to spin him loose. Back down at the 42-yard line out of the program. Still a walk-on until next semester. And here he goes again on the run. In the Minnesota territory, the cutback inside the 30. Hence Rodgers with two tight ends. 
Berman follows his fullback to the 10 yard line. Not a Weissman with a fullback and a couple of tight ends in front of him. This is his way to the eight. They've had some success with this two tight end formation and Rogers the fullback and Weissman gets to the corner and into the end zone. His seventh rushing touchdown of the year from eight yards out. has found something on the left side of this line. They talked about tackle Brandon Scherf. They're running right at him. They've done it a number of times today. Weissman untouched until he hits the secondary. And if they allow that to happen, he's going to be tough to bring down all day long. Extra point is good by Mike Meyer. Weissman is now tied. I've had so many issues at running back here at Iowa. So well documented. Ten different guys over the last three years have been hurt, dismissed, or transferred as Minnesota carries it out across the 20 and a penalty flag. The first one, there is no foul. Second one, the illegal block in the back. Number 86 of the receiving team, half the distance to the goal, first down. One of the hot guys is Back short time, and Donald Kirkwood will try and get something going. It's Kirkwood out of his own end zone to the nine yard line. Here's Wendy Nixon's passes. 12 touchdowns without an interception starting out the day. West Virginia getting into their Big Ten uh, 12 schedule as we start the Big Ten today. Oops. Short tell, incomplete, dropped. By Derek Engel, shaky this year. Opportunity for Micah Hyde to make a play. Ball almost popped out of his hand, and now it does. He's got to jump back on it at the 47-yard line. And on top. First and 10, Vandenberg. Oh, Weissman giving it right back to the quarterback. Wide open down the middle. It's Catton for the touchdown. Weissman the assist, 47 yards. Bethan, this is a play we watched them do on Thursday in practice. They practiced this play. When you're running the ball as well as Weissman is, as well as this offense is, the safeties, the corners, everyone has to pay attention to the run game. Stadium, you get a partial view of the field, but you can certainly see that scoreboard and 17 to nothing. Thank you, Wendy. On second down from Minnesota, Van Kirkwood, he runs right into Darian Cooper. Nowhere. Chance to make a third down stop for the Hawkeye D. Shortell, he's got his man across midfield and unable. Must have assumed that he was juggling the ball when he went out of bounds, but it certainly looked like he had it secured in one hand and was trying to break his fall with the other. Mika the puck return and Hyde's got some room up the middle. All down at the 48 yard line. Weissman already over 100 yards rushing. Got that done in the first quarter today. And Mark Weissman gets the carry. Right, look at how strong he is running through a couple of tacklers to the 47 yard line. Down to the field and Lewis. Well, you know, Beth, I was over here behind these tight sidelines of the Iowa uh, bench a few moments ago, and we know that Kirk Ferentz has five children, right? Three sons uh, are here with him. Brian, the O-line coach. James, the starting center, and his son, Steve, is a freshman. But there was so much excitement after that touchdown. They came to the sideline, and it was brother and brother congratulating themselves, but it was the dad who came back with sort of that stern look like, all right, let's keep it back together. We need more <laughs> of that. <laughs> Weissman trying to get to the 45-yard line of Minnesota. He's been through some tough times before. He's 
obviously concerned with the two and two start, but not panicking. And the offense, as he told, oh, they show improvement throughout the season. And come on, strong look. Oh, a couple of pretty moves to free himself. Keenan Davis inside. Weissman trying to get around the play. Punishing defenders as he busts through the goal line. And another Hawkeye touchdown. Weissman going in from five yards out for the second time today. Here comes the big bruiser, Weissman again. Comes off the corner. This is a linebacker right there, Beth. That's Bill, the linebacker. Further review, the runner was down, short of the line, short of the goal line at the half-year line. For Weissman, he got to run someone eye. over. What? How about that, Beth? Oh, they're going to keep it in Vandenberg's hands. Still no signal. And there it is, touchdown Hawkeyes. <laughs> Well, a surprise to you and I, but the Hawkeyes will take the points in a 23 to nothing lead. In those situations, you see these guys jogging off. Weissman will go to him and, and sort of jokingly say, yeah, I set you up. I let one get away right there. I, I gave you a gift. Vandenberg has been very strong at the helm today. Coaches were quick to point out yesterday, statistically, he's not near where he was last year, but they really say that his leadership is still spot on. Rushing yards, a huge favor for the Hawkeyes. Passing total yards as well as Matt Shortell going to try and put a dent in the deficit. Not a crime. Jerry Kill runs a couple of huddles, so the second stringer gets to run as many plays in practice as the first stringer. Kirkwood looking for room. Tanner Miller coming in to make the initial hit. Are you going to join him out there? Shortell going to throw the other way. Crawford Tufts trying to hang on at the 44. And he does. Shortell, the pump fake. Hit on the release. Incomplete. Darian Cooper. Right back into the quarterback. Micah Hyde going to let it bounce. It's a kind bounce. And then some from Minnesota to the five from home. And in the play action, now his own end zone. Behind. Thing I have. Weissman is getting a chance due to transfers and most recent of which today through the air, 142 yards in the touchdown pass. We're going to give it to Weissman. Big hole up the middle, Weissman. Leaving defenders in his wake out across the 35. One of the day, better than 25 yards. He is hitting them big. Vandenberg. Garmin's going to stay in there at tailback. Vandenberg to the air. Reaches behind him to make the catch. They need him to start making more of the throws downfield. He's got first down yardage to Davis to the 49 yard line. Able to win the game. He's been pleased with the way they have gotten better and better. Garmin in the Minnesota Territory. He's already here in the first half and he's back in there. Keenan Davis, how he showed up. That's one of those matchups. Joey's is a wide. Well, third down, the four man rush. Vandenberg stepping out of the pocket to the 40 yard line. And the spot will give him to win the Heartland back from Wisconsin, not on the schedule this year but they will have a shot at nebraska later in the season and a flag down as garmin is taken down at the fullback to see floyd until the third quarter at the earliest they'll bring him out of the locker room the holding penalty pushing the hawkeyes back to midfield and on the tenth play of the drive weissman called down back he had 217 
in the Central Michigan game last Saturday. 155 yards rushing in the first half today. Your Minnesota will receive the kick down to Lewis Johnson. Well, that will be job number one for the defense. And for the offense, they mustered just three first downs in that first half. The pass play down the sideline, out of back points per contest. Shut out through that first half. Donald Kirkwood gone out of the backfield across the 30-yard line to the 32 for this Hawkeye defense. Third down and short. Fortell to the air. Looking for A.J. Barker, and he's got the catch. Playmaker for the Golden Gophers to the bottom part of your screen. May to the 48-yard line. Stadium here in Iowa City. May, ball down on the carpet. Iowa says they've got it, and they do. Second turnover they forced today. Kirksey, number 20, is going to come up with it. Who jars it loose? And that's number 54, Steve Bigak, the senior out of Cleveland. And if you're Minnesota. Plus five in the turnover category. They were negative all of last season. And now minus two today. Vandenberg throws that one in one with safeties. Weissman is the lone setback. Vandenberg going play action. Incomplete. Derek Wells going out of bounds into a crowd. On third down, I'm not sure Vandenberg was expecting the snap. The pass incomplete. Pressure coming from both ends. The bench. Connor Cornbreath kicking it away. A.J. Barker. To the 22. In this game. And help Max Shortell at quarterback all day. Marquise Gray did not even make the trip for Minnesota. The starting quarterback out with the injury for the second game in a row. Shortell, a short gainer. Shortell. They're being outrushed 3-1 to one by Mark Weissman so far today. Out to the 45-yard line. Shortell. Dropping it off to the outside, diving to try and get to the first down is Drew Goodger. Shortell, off the pup fake, runs right into the awaiting arms of the trip of the sun. Them together for over a decade. Shortell, deep down the middle, into double coverage, broken up by Micah Hyde. Shortell completed to Goodger, trying to get another good spot, and spot. he's going to come up a couple yards. Play action, and the pass out into the flat is caught for the first down, and then some. Scrambling inside. David Cobb is the offset back. Shortell keeps to the 10. Takes a good hit from Hitchens, and falls. Five minutes with the football. Fortel looking at the end zone. Touchdown! Isaac Fricky with his second touchdown catch of the season. And you see the kicker come onto the field. They've decided to kick the extra point here. You know, some people would think, would you go for two in this situation? I personally would not. It's too early in this game. Plenty of football left to play if you can continue to put points on the board and get some stops with your defense. Extra point is good. Jordan Weinstein, seven. Drill makes right. it official. We'll let that one slide. Footage from September 8th. 
And for future reference, the fans can help you tailgate for the first time. Here's Weissman. If he keeps running like this, he might not be tailgating for many years to come. That uh, the Hawkeyes were a much better fit for him, the right place to be. to the air, Davis pushed out at the 48. Vandenberg gonna change up the play at the line of scrimmage. Like something through the air, Davis trying to get down to scoop it up. They will give him the kick. Trying to get inside the 46 for the first down and Weissman will not get there. A big stop for the short field punter, John Wanky. Trying not to give Barker a chance at a return. He's going to try anyways from his own 11 yard line out to the 50s. Minnesota scored on its last drive. Trying to make things interesting. A trail 24. Kirkwood. Been quiet so far today. Picks up a. Shortell, plenty of time, looking deep, and a penalty flag on the incompletion. Pass interference, defense, number two, 15 yards, previous spot, automatic, first down. Back for the football, 15-yard penalty, first and 10 from their own 35. Shortell, this time he runs out of time with James Morris bearing down on him. Shortell from the 25. Quickly to Kirkwood, looking for a block on the edge. Takes it out to the 31-yard line. Here's win West Virginia today. Now a third and 14 for the Golden Gophers. Shortell looking all the way for his man. who had his eyes on the quarterback the whole time. Third turnover today for this Iowa defensive unit. And Shortell has tried to go downfield a number of times today. This ball looks like it just sort of slips out of his hand. It's in the air. It's wobbly. I mean, this is the play that's going to be picked off most of the time. It's a third and... For the Hawkeyes. Short field here for Vandenberg to work with. Weisman. Mark Weisman, the ball carrier. He picked with Galloway, along with Lewis Johnson. To the air for Vandenberg. Mark Manley out of bounds. Joey? I'm just going to say that the next time. Roughing the passer, number 91, defense. 15 yards, automatic, first down. Last weekend. he has been awfully good leading the charge for Mark Weissman today and protecting Vandenberg. Going to try the quick hitter. And give to Weissman. Rashid Golden Gophers moving folks around defensively. Vandenberg. Good protection, drops it off for Weissman. And he will push the pile forward, close to. Parker, and we'll have some time. Looking to get away from Morris, he does, but not like a hide. Throws him out of bounds around the. Kirkwood to the 17-yard line. Let's send it down to Lewis Johnson. Probably at the end of this game, if the score doesn't change, what happens? Thank you, Lane, for that trophy ever since. And for the uh, five-yard penalty, Shortell. Under pressure, and Shortell taken down around the 13-yard line. Beck Barnes, Joey Galloway, Lewis Johnson. Uh, 
The Minnesota Gophers trying to make the big comeback here in the fourth quarter, but right now it's all kinds of pressure coming from that. Defense holding Minnesota so far today to 181 yards of total offense. That's it. And the seven points on the board, and Micah Hyde tripped up at the 37. Well, you got to think that uh, Northwestern, if they can beat Indiana today, you can't ignore 5 and 0, oh, can you? And the overthrow. To the air again. And this time the catch is made to the 31 yard line, where both coordinators departed in the offseason. Looks like Iowa wants to work a little bit on the passing game here in the fourth quarter. Brad Rogers with the catch out of the backfield. Weissman. Number 78, offense. 10 yards, repeat, second down. Hey. And it burned through the hands of Keenan Davis. Golden Gophers. Third and 21. And burn the pressure coming from Minnesota, and he has to throw it away. He had, I there, bet he? you they do have some Joey Galloway grills. And a penalty flag on this punt. Fair catch from Barker. Illegal formation. There were five players in the backfield. That's a five-yard penalty. We'll repeat, fourth down. Parker's got some time. Looking for room up the middle. And Parker gets out to the 25-yard line. Oh, uh, the clock is their enemy. Kirkwood. Picks up one or two. Yeah. Kirkwood got nicked up as well. David Cobb is now in. Shortell on the rollout. Tampa Passat's going to haul him down from behind. He's in a bit of trouble. The Golden Gophers are down here. Ohio State's got Michigan State coming up at 3.30 Eastern on ABC. And the pass underneath across the middle. Shortell again. They uh, roll him out. One more time, and he's got the completion. To the, what did he have? The five in a row, right? Five Before row. it was busted up? Yeah, Tony Stewart won it last year. Shortell. Got a keeper. To the 41 yard line. Do to move the chains for this offense, even though it's not his strong point. Joe, they obviously are seeing something right now with trying to get. Plays with their feet even better than they can throw the ball. Martinez in Nebraska hosting Wisconsin tonight on ABC. <laughs> Short tail rolling out again and dropped. Short tail has some time and it is picked off. Kirksey with the interception and running down the far sideline. Christian Kirksey eludes the quarterback and takes it the distance. Look outside, I mean, in the slot, I'm sorry, and the wide receiver just does not get any separation. He allows Kirksey to stay right in his hip pocket. Shortell throws the ball out there, a nice, easy interception, but the best play is when he gets to the end zone, and that's the kind of noise that this Iowa team wants to hear. 68 yards on the interception return for the junior from St. Louis. Myers' extra point is good, and Christian Kirksey, appropriate. And an Iowa defense that has looked very sharp. Christian Kirksey with the 68 yard interception return for six points for the Hawkeye. Thank you very much, Wendy.
Beth, do you think Weissman will get in that conversation? You know what with, I was about to Robert say. And, and, and Wendy, Beth, and the, uh, what, what do you got there? Does Weissman and, and get in? Todd, we, we might. Uh, small town boy making good here in Iowa City. Weissman's going to finish the day with three. And that is fine with Iowa to continue, if, if Minnesota continues running the ball. Cobb with the carry on October 13th. Iowa also has the week. Mark Weissman. Third and short here for Minnesota. Shortell going to keep. A quarterback the that Michigan State defense and how they're going to try to stop Weissman in this Iowa offense because Weissman, the way he's running the ball now, he will be the focal point. It won't be Vandenberg. He's downhill. He doesn't make many moves. He's going to get you positive yards. And I think the best thing they said about him is he had one bad play last week. And if your tailback only has one negative. <laughs> I, I can't hear you. Do, do you have a preference on the sideline that you'd rather be on? Floyd's a little tight lips for the Iowa Hawkeyes. They've been without Floyd for the last two years. Short tell. He's got Barker deep across the middle. Catches it at the five. First and goal. Fans are ready. And a little lard to their back. Short tell. Keeps hit by Morris. Around the one yard. Kirkwood flagged down. Kirkwood going nowhere. Carl Davis. Offside, defense, number 79, lined up in the neutral zone, half the distance to the goal, repeat, second down. Comfortable doing. Shortell again rolling out and throwing it the other way, a wide open receiver in the end zone for the touchdown. Drew Goodger with the catch. He was able to keep that one off. And a fake to Kirkwood. Short tell to the end zone and complete. Another onside kick, ball down on the deck. Illegal block, the kicking team member block prior to the ball went 10 yards. That's a five-yard penalty. We'll tack that on to where Iowa recovered the kick, first to 10. Hawkeyes will take the knee and After the last two years in Minnesota, the Floyd of Rosedale Trophy is staying in Iowa City. A 31 to 13 win for the Hawkeyes. Another big day for Mark Weissman at tailback. 177 yards rushing and another touchdown. Vandenberg ran for a score, threw for another. And an impressive showing by the defensive unit as well for the Hawkeyes as they hand Minnesota their first loss of the season. 31 to 13, the final. Now to Wendy Nix back in the studio.